The following is a presentation of KVSC Sports. Hello, this is sophomore forward Callie Funk from the St. Cloud State women's hockey team. You are listening to the Jeff Geesons Show on KVSC. Welcome back to the Jeff Geeson Show. I'm the show's host, Scott Gross, along with the head coach of the St. Cloud State women's hockey team, Jeff Geeson. You guys are off for uh, about two weeks here. You guys are welcome in Wisconsin this week to the National Hockey and Event Center. Two weeks ago at the National Hockey and Event Center was the University of North Dakota. Go through and recap that a little bit since we haven't had a, didn't have a show last week. Uh, two weeks ago on Friday night, it, uh, UND kind of had your number that night, 6-2. They skated away with a win there, and then you guys kind of clapped down on them and, and uh, skated with them toe-for-toe on Saturday. A three nothing. Your overall thought on the uh, the two games that you guys had two weeks ago? Well, I think that's kind of how our, our seasons went. We've had one game that kind of gets away from us, or, or not a. I wouldn't even say that game got away with this. Obviously, uh, the Lamro twins combined for four goals, which is uh, something that uh, you know we just sometimes don't have a match for. And then Saturday, I thought we played really well, and then it goes back to our our problem of trying to put pucks in the net. We had some great opportunities, some point blank, hit hit two pipes. Um, you know, and they're just trying to trying to generate some offense there. But then that you know we don't get any goal, but we play a lot better team defense and get some good goaltending. So gave ourselves a chance, but we just couldn't finish the game off. It's been out for almost two weeks now before you dropped the puck uh, versus Wisconsin this weekend. What kind of things do you do in in time off? Is it good to have time off to look back and reflect at things, or would you rather be right in the middle of things and going week after week? You know, I think uh, for us, I think it came right at the right time. We kind of got through the dog days of January there, and and I think uh, just having some time off, and we gave the girls a weekend off, and uh, just uh, let everybody go do something else and get away from hockey and have some fun, and and uh, you know just kind of get it out of your head. And came back on Monday with a lot of energy, and 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 yesterday was a lot of energy, and we're hoping that that that's going to continue through into this weekend. One thing you have been blessed with this year is you haven't had a whole lot of injuries, or at least uh, injuries that will take uh, girls out for a long time, at least uh, not not a majority of them being up in uh, Bemidji last weekend and looking at that team. They uh, were decimated by nine players being injured throughout the season, and they missed their goaltender from a year ago. But your team, you pretty much have the, the same lineup uh, week in and week out throughout the season. No, we've been fortunate with that, and uh, you know you never know, knock on wood, that can change in the drop of a hat but uh, we've been pretty fortunate people stayed healthy and uh, you know I think that's a tribute to our players taking care of themselves and, and, and being in pretty good shape. What kind of things did you do as a coach during the, the last two weeks of uh, not having competition on the ice? Were you out scouting or recruiting or was it basically uh, doing things here at home? No uh, yeah we we're uh, both coach Fetter and I were on the road doing a lot of recruiting Obviously, uh, Britt is out right now with her, her baby Max, so uh, he and I are picking up the slack there and both covered a lot of ground the last couple weeks. Things that uh, you've seen out there, any uh, any uh, positive recruits or uh, commitments uh, to come back to St. Cloud State? Yeah, we're all, I mean, we're always making some progress, and you're working on some younger kids, and, and uh, you know, so trying to get, get closer to fill, fill some spots. We'll take a break. We'll come back and hear from the players what they did during the, uh, the the bye week last weekend. We'll be joined by Julia Gilbert and by Amanda Monkman. That'll be in our player spotlight. That'll come up after this break. This is the Jeff Geeson Show on 88.1 FM KVSC St. Cloud. Hey, guys. This is senior forward Ellie Siddick from the St. Cloud State women's hockey team. You're listening to the Goose Show on KVSC. St. Cloud State women's hockey is back on KVSC on the Sports Stream this Friday and Saturday as the Huskies take on the University of Wisconsin. A nice one timer up front. They got a goal. Haley Smith on the rebound. Pounds it home. And the Huskies take Listen to pregame coverage of the Huskies and the Badgers with the Jeff Geeson Show starting at 1 o'clock on Friday and Saturday, followed by the pregame show at 1.30 from the National Hockey and Event Center. It's the Huskies. And the Badgers live on the KBSA Sports Stream this weekend, providing you coverage like no one else can. KBSC and the KBSC Sports Stream covering St. Cloud State women's hockey. That's Here comes the Molly Mott race along the near side wall. Mott will give ahead and an empty net goal for Julia Gilbert. Huskies will win this one. Julia Gilbert on the goal, and St. Cloud State leads four to two. Hello, this is sophomore defenseman Audrey Hanmer from the St. Cloud State women's hockey team. You're listening to the Jeff Geeson Show on KVSC. Welcome back to the Jeff Geeson Show. Scott Gross with you now with 
junior defenseman number four, Amanda Monkman. And, Amanda, you kind of do a little bit of everything, defense and forward. Wherever there's a, a place needed to be filled, you're there. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, your role this year and uh, uh, what things that you're you're doing throughout the season to get yourself on the ice more and more. Um, this year I've kind of been playing a filler role, just um, stepping in when I need to, whenever the, the team um, really needs someone to either take a break or if they're not uh, – if they're not playing up to their potential, and uh, yeah, that's that's kind of been my role so far. Could you fill in as goaltender if you needed one? Um, I have before, so it wouldn't be a surprise. Um, but what's the difference in playing defense and forward? How is it something that takes a special player like yourself to do that? Is it something uh, where it's an easy transition, or or how long does it actually take to uh, to go from one position to another? Um, for me, it's pretty easy. I see the ice pretty well, so um. Going from defense to forward, it's kind of easy because they kind of run around a little bit. From But if I were to go back to defenseman after um, my uh, game at forward, it'd be a little bit of a step back. But um, it, w- it wouldn't take too much to get back into the rhythm of things. Does it get frustrating for you? I know that uh, you hail from the uh, the Roseau program where you had a lot of success up there, scored a lot of goals, and were on a lot of... Uh, very good team up there now to be down here in St. Cloud State. And, uh, you know, the competition's kind of ramped up a little bit from double-A uh, or single-A in high school up to uh, Division One here. Is it uh, frustrating for you to, to go from a lot of success to uh, struggling to get the uh, the puck between the pipes? Um, it is a little difficult um, for me to to, uh, to handle, I suppose. But, um, I mean, I take it all in stride. If, it, if, it's, if it's meant to me, it's, it's meant to be. What are some things that uh, you pride yourself on? What parts of your game do you really uh, think that you're strong at and what are things that you continue to work on? Um, I think I see the ice very well and I'm a very um, very good passer. Um, I think that I could probably improve on definitely my speed and my quickness. What brought you to St. Cloud State? What was it about this university and this team that uh, had you commit here a few years ago? I really liked the university aspect of it. Um, the layout of the, the campus was really nice and um, the coaching staff recruited me very early, and that's what I really liked, that they um, put so much interest into me so um, early on. How nice is it to be uh, on a team and have members of this team that were members from your, your high school team? I know that uh, Amy Olson played with you in Roseville, and there's always a, a few players sprinkled from each program around the state, it seems like. So uh, uh, maybe it's unfamiliar here, but you have familiar faces. Absolutely. I played with probably eight of my teammates before I got here, so... Getting to know them before college was actually really nice and made the transition pretty easy. Things you're studying here at St. Cloud State? I am an accounting major, so business, business, business. All business all the time. Any minor yet? Um, No, I've got too many credits. you got too many credits. Okay. Well, Amanda, thanks for the time, and good luck for the rest of the season. We hope to see you on the ice uh, as the season winds down and into the playoffs. Thank you very much. All right, that was uh, junior defenseman forward number four, Amanda Monkman. We'll now bring in number 14 at junior forward, the winger, Julia Gilbert. And, Julia, welcome to the program this weekend. Your overall thoughts so far in this season? I know last year as a sophomore you had two goals this week. This year you've already doubled that with four. Your thoughts and your play throughout the 2012-2013 season? I think it's gone pretty well. Um, Obviously, we could score more and I could score more goals, but... We have been getting a lot of shots on net and just trying, I don't know, trying to create some offense, and it's better than last year, so that's a start. Now, being a scorer from Hermantown, and and I see that you guys had the brackets out here, you and the coaches, and Amanda, who hails from Roseau, you're from Hermantown. Um, Does it get frustrating for you to to go from a program that was very successful and you had a lot of success to come here and and see the frustrations that uh, Coach kind of pointed on where you're close to getting goals but it it either goes off a post or a goaltender will stand on their head does it get frustrating for you um my high school program actually went a lot like college like my first year we struggled a lot and then we've gotten better slightly each year so i'm just kind of like staying positive and things will happen it'll come do you feel any pressure to uh, score on the ice when you're out there i have always felt a little pressure and i just try and do my best and get shots on net and hopefully it goes in what was it about St. Cloud State that brought you here? I really liked the campus and the coaches and just everything about it. It was just for me. What about your game is very strong, and what is it something that uh, you can bring to the table on a week-in, week-out basis? I'm very tall. I have a long reach, um, and I see the ice well and work pretty well with my linemates. Things that you're doing during practice to help hone your game or improve yourself? 
Uh, I've been trying to stay out and shoot a lot of pucks, try to figure out a way to get the puck in the net. When did you start playing hockey? Uh, when I was five. Five years old? Yeah. You come from a family of hockey players? Um, my brother played. He played at St. John's, actually. And then my sister doesn't play, but my dad played and all my uncles and aunts and stuff. You have a younger sister or older sister? Um, older. So how does she not play and you picked up the stick instead? She just wasn't really into sports at all. So my brother, I always idolized over my brother with sports. And my sister is just kind of, she doesn't play sports, so yeah. Things you're studying here at St. Cloud State? I'm a biomedical science major. So what does that mean? What uh, what do you hope to uh, achieve someday uh, in studying that? It, right now I'm pre-pharmacy, but I've switched. like every, I switch on a weekly basis, basically. I just know I want to be in the medical field. And your minor? Uh, psychology. Okay, well, keep up the good work. You guys have improved. Like you said, uh, when you went through Hermantown, it started slow, and, and it came. Well, so far it's coming. Your team uh, last year, five wins, now up to eight. And yourself, you've doubled your your uh, scoring output from a year ago, so your game's slowly starting to come, and hopefully it'll flourish here down the stretch. Yeah, hopefully. Thank you very much. That's Julia Gilbert, number 14, a junior winger for the St. Cloud State women's hockey team. We'll take a break and come back with the head coach. This is the Jeff Geeson Show on 88.1 FM KBSC. Hi, Hello, this is the junior defenseman Carrie Cohn from St. Cloud State women's hockey team. You're listening to the Coach Geeson's Show on KBSC. Welcome back to the Jeff Geeson Show. Scott Gross here with the head coach of the St. Cloud State women's hockey team, Jeff Geeson. And uh, this Saturday, Coach, uh, a big day. It's the National Girls and Women in Sports Day. And what kind of things have you done and what kind of things are the is the team doing uh, to get ready for that? Well, I, I think uh, the athletic department's done a great job of putting some things together. Uh, uh, Becky McCabe and Paul Uren, our soccer and softball coach, have kind of really spearheaded it and and uh, so there's going to be some events with the Girl Scouts and, and any young players that are young people that are coming to our game, boys or girls. Um, there's going to be some activities in the concourse and that kind of thing uh, during the game. Obviously, our team's not really actively participating because we're playing at the same time that this is all going on. But they're doing some T-shirt giveaways and uh, some cinch bag giveaways. It's going to be a great event. And hopefully it transpires into us having, you know, maybe a 1,000 people at our game, which is what we're looking for. And that's uh, to get people in the door. Again, this will be uh, this Saturday, and the door is open right around uh, 1 o'clock, and they can enjoy the game here. Uh, you can also hear it here if you can't make it there on the uh, KBSC Sports Stream. Drop of the puck at 2.07, so come down and take part of the National Girls and Women in Sports Day. That's on Saturday, and again, it starts in the afternoon at the National Hockey and Event Center. A whole bunch of things going on there. Now let's take a look at your team again. Last weekend, you're on a bye, and uh, the beat-up Bemidji Beavers decided to play tough versus the Ohio State Buckeyes. They lost in overtime on Friday, then skated to a win over the Buckeyes on Saturday. So now you guys find yourself in uh, eighth place in the WCHA, three points behind Bemidji State. So uh, kind of one of those uh, bummer deals where you're on a bye and you fall in the standings. Well, that that's what happens in our league. I think I mean our league's so tight, and I think right now, I mean, uh, you know, we're we're three points out of uh, seventh. We're also six points out of being in sixth. I mean, that's so that's two wins from being uh, in sixth place. And I think if you look at our overall standings in the, as as far as the league, uh, Minnesota's out in front, and then spots two through five are going to be wide open until the next couple weeks. So um, you, there's going to be a lot of movement in both kind of tiers there, and then we're hoping we can take care of our own business and get some wins and and get our own points. Interesting how some teams match up. I mean, you guys match up very well versus uh, Ohio State and Minnesota State, and, and you play well versus Wisconsin, and you saw that Bemidji State played very well against the number three team in the in the conference in Ohio State. So on every given, any given weekend, uh, it's a tough play in the WCHA. Yeah, I think the parity in our league, it, it keeps getting closer together rather than farther apart. I mean, uh, obviously this year you have Minnesota who's running away with it in heads and shoulders, but uh, after that, I mean, you've seen some teams uh, get some wins against teams that maybe they haven't in the past, and some teams that are playing really tight games, and, and you know, it's a bounce here or there for either team, and then that's the difference in the way the league's shaking out. This weekend, Wisconsin, uh, you'll be dropping the puck here, right here on the uh, KVSC Sports Stream, about 2 o'clock, pregame coverage coming here at 1.30. What do you know about the Badgers, and how do you uh, plan to attack them? Well, the Badgers, uh, you know, they have they have a couple good dynamic players. Obviously, Brianna Decker, last year's Patty Caswin, or something that we really got to keep an eye on. But uh, the thing that the, with the Badgers is they're not going to hurt themselves. They're very well coached. They're very good, very disciplined. Uh, one of the least penalized teams in the country. 
Um, so we got just got to be playing high tempo, high high pace game, and and try to get some pucks on the net. They have a, a goalie that's going to be an Olympic candidate now, Alex Rigsby. Um, she's very solid, but uh, you know we we got to her a little bit when we were there, and then we just as part of our growing process, just couldn't finish that game off, and that's where we're hopefully we've matured enough where that's going to happen this weekend. Chance this weekend to get some points in the WCHA versus the uh, University of Wisconsin. Both games will be at 2 o'clock at the National Hockey and Events Center next weekend. You guys will be on the road versus Minnesota State. So two opportunities here in the next two weekends to climb in the standings. You mentioned uh, the goaltender uh, maybe uh, going to be on the Olympic team. What kind of things do you do as you prepare during the week to uh, to try and at least get a few pucks past her? Well, it's just the same thing we've talked about with our kids all year long. Is you just got to put pucks to the net, get a rebound, get the get those ugly goals, and uh, we've really been focusing on just throwing pucks at the net this week. Just get them in there, chip it to the middle, and uh, and go to the net hard, and maybe something will be laying there for you to tap in, and make it easy. Players that uh, have uh, practiced well this week, anybody that stood out for you? You know what? Uh, just the team in general. I think, like I said uh, in my opening comments there we uh, had the weekend off and we came back with an extreme amount of energy and girls are excited and there's a lot of a lot of buzz and obviously playing a couple home games and and uh you know we're gonna we're gonna piggy tail the, the go for husky men's series a little bit and that energy that's going on around the building so hopefully it's gonna we're gonna be jacked up and ready to go friday afternoon well, it's trivia weekend, so uh, your game and the Gopher game for the men's will be right here on the KVSC Sports Stream. You guys are going to kick off this big gala event, and uh, uh, we'll drop the puck here shortly versus the Badgers, both on Friday and Saturday. Catch it right here on the KVSC Sports Stream on both days. We'll go full fledged with uh, sideline reporting, post game interviews, and uh, we'll try and get you a uh, pregame as well. So, uh, good luck this weekend, and hopefully, you guys can uh, get at least uh, you know start getting some points here and, and work your way up here in the WCHA. Thanks, Scott. That's Jeff Geeson, the head coach of the St. Cloud State women's hockey team. As you heard, both games live right here in the KVSC Sports Stream. Pre-game coverage starts at 1.30. And then stay tuned for men's hockey tonight versus the Minnesota Golden Gophers. This has been the Jeff Geeson Show on 88.1 FM and the KVSC Sports Stream.